Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Melina and in today's video we are going to be doing some major deep cleaning so I hope that you guys are ready for some serious cleaning motivation. I was so excited to film this video because I'm trying out a couple of new cleaning tools in this video today that will hopefully help me keep my bathroom on track a little bit better. You can see everything in here was super dusty. There's always this funky stuff up under my sink countertop. There was hair on the floor, and I think the worst thing of all was the shower. It was absolutely disgusting. It had soap scum built up everywhere, and it just really needed a really good deep cleaning. So we're gonna be taking care of all of this today. To start things off, I'm taking all of my perfume and skincare and stuff off of this shelf so that I can give it a good wipe down. First, I'm gonna wipe off all of this dust and then I'm gonna clean it with Spray Away Glass Cleaner. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. You can also hit the little bell right beside the subscribe button and that will notify you each time I post a new video so you don't miss out on any future uploads. little bit obsessed with trying out new perfumes and lotions and stuff like that. Right now my current favorite perfume is Baccarat Rouge 540, the straight version. It smells so good, but I'm always looking for new ones to try, so let me know your favorite perfume in the comments below. It's electric when you kiss me. I know this is so random, but I used to have the worst problem with my mirror streaking no matter what product or cloth or paper towel or whatever that I tried to use on it. And I read once that if you turn the lights over your mirror off while you clean it, that it won't streak. And I promise y'all it works. I don't know what it is or if the heat from the lights kind of like dries everything too quickly. I have no idea, but if your mirrors streak, turn the lights off while you're cleaning it and then you will be shocked when you turn them back on because there will be no streaks. Paradise, you make me believe it's real. It's high up above from ground, but closer to heaven. To clean the countertops, I'm using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner. This is safe to use on granite, marble, and stone. It has a really good apple scent and it makes your countertops really shine.
always have the hardest time keeping around my faucets and underneath my sink clean. I think because I wash my face every morning and night and I'm constantly slinging water everywhere, but I bought this tool off of Amazon. It's a little Rubbermaid spin brush and at first, I was kind of hesitant to buy it because I thought, why wouldn't I just use like a kid's electric toothbrush or something like that? But you guys, this thing is powerful and it works. You can use this for so many different areas of your house. You'll see me use it quite a bit throughout the video, but I highly recommend this thing. I will have it linked below. It did such a good job cleaning really hard to reach places. Also, you'll see I'm just using water to clean the faucets. Every now and then I'll wipe them down with a Clorox wipe, but when we purchased them, the lady told us to never use any kind of cleaner because it can take the brass finish off. So I usually use water just to be safe. Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces, you know it is our lies, you know it is our this was my first time trying out this cleaner. It's the Mega Shower Foamer by Scrubbing Bubbles, and I was looking for a new cleaner that would help me keep the bathroom clean. You'll actually see it in the end of this video in the grocery haul, but anyway, I was looking for something that would clean the bathroom like really, really good, but I can't handle something that has a super strong chemical smell, and I loved this stuff, y'all. I figured I would because it had amazing reviews. I just picked it up at Walmart with my grocery order, but it did a really good job it left the bathroom smelling really clean, but it wasn't such a harsh scent that it made me sick while I was cleaning. I'm going to use this surface cleaner by The Laundress to wipe down the cabinets. I have really been wanting to try the laundry detergent by them, so let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried it and if you like it. Now it's time to test out the new tool that I bought to clean the shower and tub, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all, it is amazing. You charge it here on the end. It also has this extender that you can remove to make a little bit shorter, but it spins and it does such a good job at getting into all of the corners and hard to reach places of the shower. It also comes with these other two attachments, which I do try out in the video as well. They all worked great. I was so impressed with this, y'all. I'm just gonna spray this cleaner everywhere in the shower and go to town with this little spin brush. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you have tile showers. They are so hard to keep clean and this did an incredible job.
I usually just clean the shower glass with the spray away glass cleaner that I used on the mirrors, but there were a few spots of like really stuck on shampoo and soap from the kids playing in there and I guess like maybe touching the glass and it dried on there. So I'm using that same cleaner and a magic eraser to get all of those stuck on spots off. That was everything I accomplished on day one. Johnny actually asked my dad to keep the kids that night for us so that we could go out to eat and finish our Christmas shopping. So we had so much fun and here I am picking back up the next day. I'm starting with the tub. I'm using that same cleaner to spray all in it and then I'm gonna use this same tool. It did a great job on the tub just like it did the shower. I'm gonna quickly give my toilet a clean in and wipe it down and then we're gonna move on to Johnny's side of the bathroom. Now we're on Johnny's side of the bathroom and we're basically starting all over doing all the same things that we did on my side. His side is a little bit smaller though so it doesn't take me quite as long but we're gonna do the mirror, wipe down the countertops, clean his sink and his cabinets and then we'll move on to vacuum and steam mop the floor in here. Push all the limits with you. 
Now it's time to vacuum the floor. There's always so much hair in the floor in here because every time I dry my hair, it just goes everywhere. So we're gonna give it a good vacuum and then we're gonna steam mop. what you think about me and I know I shouldn't care I really tried my best but I can't make you happy and I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this out because you know I tried the best I could I don't know Really tried the best I could Because this towel has such a shine, it's very hard to keep clean because if you just try to mop it regularly, it leaves water spots all over the towel when it dries. So I love to use my steam mop and I just add a few drops of essential oil to the pad. Today I'm using lemon and it just made the bathroom smell really fresh and clean, but I just plug that up and this does a good job at cleaning. It really sanitizes and like deep cleans in the grout, but it doesn't necessarily leave it like soaking wet so it doesn't have near as many water spots on it is when I use the regular mop. Right now. And I can't stop time for you. I don't know why we couldn't work this out. Because you know I tried the best I could. The best I could. I can't stop time for you. I can't stop time for you. Be with somebody who's never gonna be a run for me, run for me. I'm running out of energy, I realize you'll never be the one for me. I can't stop time for you. I can't stop time for you. Won't you get on my way? Get on my way. I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. Won't you? Get on my way, get on my way, I don't need this right now, right now, right now. Now that the bathroom is finally clean, we're moving on to our bedroom. I'm gonna start by making the bed, then I'm gonna give the nightstands a good wipe down. We're gonna vacuum the floor, and then for the fun part, we're gonna clean my rug with my Hoover carpet cleaner. Won't you get on my way, get on my way. I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel a breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge cleaning out With us it's all or nothing
This is my carpet cleaner and I love this thing so much y'all. It had been a few months since I cleaned this rug in here and let me tell you it needed it. These are the products that I used in my carpet cleaner. I have the wash, the spot chaser, and then also a scent booster that makes your room smell incredible. No matter how many times I use this, I can't get over how easy it is to use. All you do is push forward to wash and when you pull back, it dries. It's really that simple. You can go over it as many times as you would like. It also has this spot chaser wand that you can use to spray really tough stains, but I didn't realize my battery had went dead in mine, so I'm just pouring the solution right onto the stain, but it got it out perfectly. How disgusting y'all you don't even realize how dirty your rugs and carpets are until you use this thing Another thing I love about this cleaner is it has a dry only button. So once I clean the entire rug, I always go back over it one last time with a dry only button on just to get up any excess water that I missed. This really does a great job drying it though. I always check underneath the rug and I never have any water sitting under there or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about it damaging your floors. I highly recommend this carpet cleaner. It also comes with an attachment that you can use on like fabric or upholstery or whatever. So I'll have it linked below if any of you are interested and it's also very very easy to clean but it got my rug looking brand new and that says a lot because it was bad the video's not over just yet. I do have a quick little grocery haul for y'all, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see y'all in my next video. Okay, y'all, they actually just delivered our groceries, so I thought I would go ahead and show y'all what we got. We didn't get like a ton of stuff, but I'll share with you what we did get. So we got some bread. Y'all know I say this all the time. My kids literally live on Nutella sandwiches. I know that's not healthy, but they're obsessed with them and they both eat at least one every day. These things are so good. They have all kinds of different flavors and they're all really good, but my favorite are just the plain sea salt ones. And I'll show you what I eat them with. It is literally, I'm jumping ahead of myself, but y'all, this stuff right here, street corn dip from Walmart. It is phenomenal and yeah I guess I should have mentioned that all of this is from Walmart but this stuff is so good I literally eat this whole thing in like two days we got some cereals we were completely out of cereal so I got cocoa pebbles corn pops have y'all ever had these I used to eat these all the time when I was a kid because my dad loved them and I have not had them in years and I went to my mom and dad's the other day and my dad was eating them and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about these. So I'm not gonna lie, I got those for myself. And then some, oops, all berries. Gaines loves these, Mason loves these. I got the kids a few Lunchables. They, Lunchables have been kind of hard to find lately and my kids aren't like obsessed with them, but Gaines loves the pizza ones and the cracker ones. Mason don't really eat them. So I got Gaines, this one that comes with the little Capri Sun and stuff. I thought that would be really easy for his lunch. And then just one of these that comes with an Oreo as well. But Johnny is obsessed with oatmeal. He eats oatmeal every single morning, the biggest bowl ever. 
and I kid you not, he will eat all of this within a week. Like he just bought this, I think the last grocery shopping that we did like a week ago, and it's already gone. So I got him a big thing of oatmeal. We use the regular donut shop coffee and it's really, really good. But when I was looking to get more coffee, I saw this and it's the donut shop peppermint bark and I'm so excited to try this because I've been loving the peppermint mocha coffee creamer that I've been using and so I think this is going to be so good. We got some petite diced tomatoes as well as tomato sauce and beef broth. We always get the low sodium because I think I shared this the last time or I may not have shared this yet. I'm not sure. Johnny had his cholesterol checked a few months ago and it was a little bit high so he has like completely changed his diet like hardcore eating perfect and he won't let me use the regular broth anymore but that's fine i don't notice a difference with this one anyway so we're gonna make vegetable soup with this one not i did not get any meat we don't really like to get our meat from walmart we'll get it like if we absolutely have to but usually we go to Publix and get all of the meat that we need. So we'll use ground turkey to make the soup and we'll get that at Publix. These are the kids' favorite yogurts. And I don't know why. Sometimes it'll let me get like six or seven of them. And then sometimes it only lets me get three. So today it only let me get three. So that's those. This is honestly the best pasta sauce that we have ever tried. And it's one of the healthiest too. It has really good nutrition facts. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it tastes incredible. And we're going to do a spaghetti one night, but with zucchini noodles. So we get the zucchini noodles like already spiraled and the ground turkey at Publix. So I don't have that with me yet. We're going to go get that in just a bit, but this is the sauce that we'll use to make that for dinner one night. And it is really, really good. My kids love butter noodles, just noodles with butter on them. And they take it a lot in their thermos for lunch at school. So I like to use these veggie ones because it says it has one half serving of vegetables per two ounces. So I don't know, it's just a little way to get some vegetables in them because they're not the best vegetable eaters. I got a onion for the vegetable soup, some oranges, some strawberries. We got some bananas, some grapes, that dip that I told y'all I love. My kids eat these like they are going out of style. I usually get two bags and I just didn't this time, but I probably will regret it because they eat these two or three a day. I don't know if that's good. This is not the healthiest haul, but I'm just sharing what we're really eating. These are the mixed vegetables that we use for the vegetable soup and I get two bags of those. My kids love chicken nuggets. They really like the dinosaur shaped ones, but I haven't been able to find those in a while. So I just got them these regular ones. And then I got some liquid IV. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Johnny drinks it a lot in the summertime because y'all know he works outside and it's really hot, but I drink these all the time, but especially when I get a headache, these work really, really well. They really help with preventing migraines for me. I got the kids some apple juice and a little bit more milk because they drink milk every day and eat cereal every morning. Um, I got some Capri Suns and watermelon and apple. And then watermelon? I, mm -hmm. This is a few random things that I picked up and I'm actually filming this grocery haul before I start cleaning. So you've probably already watched me use some of this in the video, but I have never tried any of the scrub daddy sponges, but I hear really good things about them. So I got these like scour pads and then I also got a scrub daddy sponge. I don't know, apparently it says they get soft in warm water and firm in cool water. So we'll see. Everybody says really good things about this though. And then I got another pack of magic erasers because we can never have enough of those. I needed some new dishwasher tablets and I got these finished kind. I really like those. And then I wanted to get a new shower cleaner to try out in the bathroom. So I got this Scrubbing Bubbles Mega Shower Foamer. I don't know, it had really good reviews online, but I'm hoping it's not like super super strong smell because i can't handle like really chemical smell and stuff but i needed something that would clean the shower really good so i'm going to try this out like i said you might have already watched me use it in the shower today so anyway this is everything that we got i hope y'all enjoyed this short little haul like i said we don't have like our meat and stuff like that because we get it from Publix. but this is just an idea of what we got to last us through these next few weeks or not few weeks next few days and into next week It cleans uh -huh. really good. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just got me in my underwear. You're not tall enough. I don't mean that ugly. I'm saying like that. You can really cut down on your husband. That's so disgusting. I love you too.
but it was disgusting. Are you filming? Oh, I bet we got scene. such like, a romantic scene there. I forgot. I didn't know you were filming. <laughs>